Hi, this is Miss Lavodi, and I'll be using Taisui Sketches Pro for iPad to create a fantasy art style digital painting. We're going to open up our digital mock up of our reference idea in Taisui Sketches Pro, but you can also use a different app of your choice. I know some of my students like to work with Medibang Paint as a preference. You're going to be working in separate layers to render the different elements in your fantasy art digital mock up, your reference picture, to start painting it in your own style. I encourage you to get creative, change your colors, use different brushes, and remember that when you're working over any type of appropriated imagery, it's really important to make it your own. You need to change the image when you're painting to modify it and make it into your own style and significantly change it from its original form. This was my digital mock-up. Um, that I'm using as my reference picture. There was a video on how to do this and put it together on that you can find on my YouTube. First, I recommend making a line art sketch of your reference picture. So a good way to start out is just sketching out the image using line. So that way you can already take advantage of creative liberties and making changes to things or editing or removing things from your reference picture that you don't need. So I can enlarge stuff, I can elaborate on the portrait, I can hide my reference picture completely and start to stylize the face and the hair and add decorative details. All of our line art should be in a separate layer and when we start adding color, you're going to put colors into separate layers also. It's important to separate colors so that way it's easier to make changes, erase, or manipulate parts of your painting. You can choose any type of brush you want to start to apply color with. I use the acrylic brush and then I use the blending tool to smudge and blur together colors. I also played with opacity of colors to start to layer things in. Try to have fun with adding in details and using your brushes in different ways. Play with textures play with opacity, and create different layers of color resting on top of each other. This is what will make your painting more interesting. So I've added in some little dots of different colors to represent scales. Having these little stippling dots also helps to represent lighting. I tried to play around with transparent effects within my mason jar lantern and create my little glowing orb that you see in here. So it just takes some time and layering to get things to look the way you want and maximize using all of the brush options that you have available to you in the app. What's great about fantasy art is that you can really make changes from your reference. I did not want this to look like me. I wanted to just use my pose and my portrait as a stand-in for a different idea. So I've elaborated on making long red hair and I'm just kind of having fun with that different hair texture as you can see here. When working in my background, I kept the original reference photo up so I could grab color from it and then I used a large brush and a lot of blending where I wanted colors to layer into each other. You can also change the colors of your background to intensify the lighting. I painted in a separate layer underneath the initial layer I made of my background so that way I could fill in gaps and then I just used the blending tool to blur and smudge out my colors and fill in more white spaces. When it came to layering in the water texture, I reminded myself that it's okay to simplify things into more basic colors or shapes as needed. And that way I didn't have to try to represent every single little detail or water texture. So I just looked for some basic general shapes of color and I did this on one layer, all of the foam and reflections and then in another layer underneath it is where I had my background solid color behind it. Then I can add in some details for waves and ripples and reflections of light. When you get up to coloring in an object that's repeated throughout your composition, you can paint in one object completely, like I'm doing here with the firefly. I'm gonna paint it and add in all of my details just on this one firefly 
and then I'll be duplicating the layer and then using the transform option within the layer to resize it, change it, and move it into different parts of my composition. Makes it a lot easier than trying to sit there and paint in every single repeated object, especially if you just want them to be the same. So here what I did was duplicate the layer, use the gear icon to access where it says duplicate and then use the gear icon in your layers to also access where it says transform. Then you can move and arrange your objects as needed. You can add finishing details to your work, anything that you want to see on the surface that creates texture or different lighting effects and pulls your composition together. You have now completed your own fantasy art style painting, but before you leave, don't forget to hide your reference picture and then export it to your camera roll so you can have a finished painting that looks like this.